The problem is, you think you have more time than you do. Time is the only commodity that we can't make more of. You can always make more money, but you can't make more time. When it's gone, it's gone. So we have to make the best use of time. We all get the same 24 hours in a day. The question is, what are you doing with your time? The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. Remember, time waits for no man. The world don't stop turning, so we can't stop working. You can't turn back the hands once it's gone. You have to learn to live with the regret. What you should have did. What you could have did. But you can't get the time back. Like they say, time is not running out. But your time is. You can't stop the clock. All you can do is try to make the best use of the time. The time is now. No opportunities wasted. And the older you get, the faster it goes. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. The time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Some of your life is taken away. The time is now. We gotta go. The goals, the dreams, they not gonna wait for you. You gotta get up and get it. It's not coming to you. That's why you gotta have that gangster mentality. Hey, you know, Baby Lane, I love you with all my heart. And this is what I wanna tell you. You can do anything in this world that you set your mind to. But guess what? You gotta believe it. I am, I am. These are two of the most powerful words you will ever say. I am is the source of all creation. Scripture says, as a man think in his heart, so is he. And remember, in scripture, when they refer to the heart, they're talking about the subconscious mind. Marcus Aurelius says, we become what we think about. And that's all I am is. I am is basically your self-image. What do you think about yourself? And remember, your thoughts and your feelings are basically creating your life. Because remember, we live in a world of vibration. And it's like, what are you vibrating towards? What is your vibration on? What level of vibration are you on? So remember, I am is basically the source of all creation. It's basically your sense of awareness. Listen, if you want to grow, you got to get uncomfortable. Yeah, you, that's right. You got to get up. You got to get out of your comfort zone. Remember, the comfort zone is where dreams go to die. Yeah, it's time to step up and face them fears. Look them head on. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. You have to embrace this journey of life. It's all about change. The only thing promised to you is that nothing will stay the same. So you can't stay the same. You have to grow. Remember, life doesn't get any easier. You get better. Become the best version of yourself. You have to take the time to read and study and develop your mind. The last thing you want to do is regret not taking a chance on you. Remember, it's your life, your responsibility. If you don't do it for you, nobody is gonna do it for you. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. In the words of Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. The question is, how are you going to hit a target you don't even have? 
You gotta step up, you gotta make the phone calls, you gotta send the emails, you gotta take the chance of being rejected time after time after time after time. You gotta face the fact that some people might ridicule you, but guess what? Each time you step out that comfort zone, you are gonna grow. And that's what this whole thing is about. What good is a life if you're not growing? Everything grows. You gotta grow. You gotta get uncomfortable. That will be the only way, and it's gonna be hard at first. That's why it's called being uncomfortable. The more comfortable you get being uncomfortable, the better you will be in life. You know what you gotta do, and don't stop till the casket drops. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. It's time to grow. That's all you can do. Get uncomfortable. Become the best version of you. Believe it? Yes! Yes what? Yes, of course, Daddy! Yes, of course you believe it? Yes! Okay, because you got a power deep inside of you, and you got to stay happy, and you got to believe you can accomplish anything you want in this world. Now tell the people who you are. Who are you? My name is Baby Lake, but my friends call me Layla. They say it will cool, some like a player. And the case of first, so I'm all about the books. You know I got the brains, and of course I got the looks. You gotta dream big and chase your goals. Learn to go through the highs and lows. Do it in your mind, you can do it every time. It's good! I like that. So you flowing now? Yes! You flowing? Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, tell the people, what's our motto? The life you wanna live. It's on the other side of fear, face to fear, face to fear. The life you want to live is on the other side of fear, face to fear, face to fear. The thing you fear doing most, that's what you have to do. Because the life you want to live, it's on the other side of fear. And when you step up and you face those fears, you're going to see it was just a figment of your imagination. The fears don't exist. The question is, do you have the confidence to believe in you enough to step out that comfort zone, enough to face the ridicule, enough to find yourself on that journey by yourself with nobody, but deep down inside you know what you have to make it. Can you face it? Can you face you? That's the question. Fear. The life you want to live is on the other side of fear. I want something that they can damn near hear at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning when they don't want to get up in the morning. <laughs> That's going to get their ass out of bed. Okay, okay, okay. Let me talk to these people about this personal journey. Like it's time to recollect. It's all in here, man. I just got to bring it out. I just got to bring it out. And I'm going to give you my, my heart and soul. Everybody want to know how you get up 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, no alarm clock, where does all the energy come from? Today is the day, I'ma let you know. Stay tuned for this audio. You know big influencer, man, just the theme song, Dirt Road to Rodeo. Think about that shit, man. Dirt Road to Rodeo, did it all without Yayo. Fuck doing some time, young nigga using his mind. Dirt Road to Rodeo, did it all without Yayo. Fuck doing some time, young nigga using his mind. Dirt Road to Rodeo, Dirt Road to Rodeo, Dirt Road to Rodeo. Dirt road to Rodeo, I say a lot from the dirt road and people don't understand what I'm talking about. When I say dirt road, I'm talking about a certain consciousness. And uh, it's not so much about the physical journey of coming east, uh, east to west, it's about the poop and dirt road to Rodeo. So part of me doing this is me keeping my, 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 my commitment to him that I was gonna keep trying no matter what. Because of the poverty consciousness, it was like a lack consciousness. By the time my mother was four, uh, by the time my mother was 20, she had four kids. And uh, my father was not around, so we grew up in, in poverty. As a matter of fact, before we moved down the dirt road, imagine 10 people, actually it was 11 of us, and a one bedroom, one bath, the youngest of the 13, her and her twin sister. So my grandma, she done raised 13 kids, and now she look around, there's 11 more people in the house, and she like, this ain't gonna work. So she got us a trailer down the dirt road, and that's where we moved down the dirt road. And the trailer down the dirt road, um, it didn't have running water at the time, it had leaks in the roof. As a matter of fact, it was so bad, the government gave a grant to fix up the houses, 
And when they got to us, they was like, uh, there's nothing we can do with this. And they actually took the trailer away and gave us a new trailer. But that was before my brother got killed. My brother, he didn't, um, he never even saw the new trailer. He got killed before that. He was 13 and I was 14. He got shot in his head at point break range. The reason I'm doing a lot of this stuff now is because I told him when he was, I, I went to see him before they did anything to him and I had a hole in his head and I put my hand over it. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna live a life big enough for both of us. So they'll remember you when they see me. And that's why I'm always talking about shout out to Pooh and Dirk Rover Rodale. So part of me doing this is me keeping my, 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 my commitment to him that I was gonna keep trying no matter what. So life is a journey and we have to grow. So when I say dirt road to rodeo, it's always about the journey. And it's not what necessarily we go through to stop us, that actually might make us. So I took everything, my father not being there, my brother getting killed, you know, my mother having a nervous breakdown and um, I let that make me. She told me at seven, you're the man of the house. So at, at nine years old, she was sneaking me in the blueberry fields to actually pick blueberries because that's how she uh, she make money. And I talked to her today, she said it's about, about $20 a day. She got five kids and uh, that's what we were surviving on. So you're talking to a man that was never a boy. So I just wanted to do this. And when I say dirt road to Rodeo, it's like from the dirt road to Rodeo, trying to break that generational poverty and expose my <laughs> building to the <laughs> transformation it's like going to the, the caterpillar going to the butterfly the butterfly can reach heights the caterpillar can, caterpillar can only dream of and that's all of us we all got a process that we got to go through but we don't let that process stop us we grow through that process so that's my story Dirk Road to Rodeo and I want to do a couple of uh, a couple of poems and before I do I just want to say the power of the words. So I speak a lot about I am's and the attitude is a way, is a great antidote for depression. Because when you say words of love and compassion, you actually get serotonin, which is the feel good hormone. And when you think negative and you worry, you get cortisol, which is a stress hormone. So each thought produces a chemical. Keeping that in mind, let's make sure we speak life and we speak life into each other. And even the voices that we hear in our head that we only listen to the positive voices. So here we go with and I do spoken word. And when the words I spoke was heard, they was hot without smoking herb. Because you know, my flow superb. And I know the God I'm supposed to serve. So when I see y'all putting faith in the system, I find it absurd. Fake news are tool they use to deceive you. Open your mind, don't let them mislead you. I never let them trick HK. I'm the black Sinatra. I did it my way, what can I say? You'll never catch me or the family stress cause I live in a world that I manifest. So when I say dirt road to rodeo, I'm just being honest. The plain Jane Rowley, I'm just being modest. You can catch me in Dior reciting the scripture. The only melanated person invited to the bar mitzvah. They ask about the past, I keep it a secret. But when it comes to the truth, I gotta speak it. I don't follow challenges or foolish trends. And I had the newest beers before I had Jewish friends. I'm from an era where I don't take pictures. So every word I speak, you gotta take it as scripture. We didn't let the camera get too close to us. My brother got killed, so I got rich for the both of us. Captain. 
This lifestyle I live, it wasn't inherited. I'm self-made, self-paid. I changed the narrative. I went from walking to catching first-class flights. Now I'm courtside at the game and ringside at fights. But it was no dinner, I was hungry. I used to cry at nights. Now billionaires cut me checks just for my advice. I gotta live this life, I'm from the struggle. You gotta ball where I'm from, nobody love you. I had to put HK on the belt buckle. High key lifestyle, that's my new hustle. And it ain't easy as it seems. I used to share clothes with my sister. I'm rocking chick jeans. And they really was chick jeans. At the top, they had ripped seams. But still, I had big dreams. Even though we had to fill up milk jugs at the neighbor's crib. We didn't have running water. Thank God the neighbors did. Before school, I took a bath in the sink. But we had that kerosene heater so my clothes were steam. But still, I was on a higher vibration. I mastered the art of manifestation. The first rule of nature, self-preservation. Now I'm paid to show up at the special occasion. The deal is done when you mention Henry Keller from Dirt Road to Rodeo. Really, what can you tell him? So, you know, coming up in poverty and not ha and having low self-esteem, I said, you know what? I wanted to raise the esteem and I wanted my daughter to look at herself totally different. So I said, you know what? I'm going to create a family crest. And that's my family crest. At the top of the crest, you see the phoenix is coming out the, ash, out the ashes like HK. I rose from nothing. I am. That's my, um, that's my motto. That's what we live by. The heart is a misfit. It, it symbolizes uh, a bridge between heaven and earth. The blueberries, that's so I never forget where I came from. I told you we grew up picking blueberries, uh, and, and that's what that is. And then at the top, you'll see the pyramid, which I just thought the pyramid was cool, and I put my, uh, my frequency symbol inside the pyramid. And, and at the bottom, the motto, faith. We gotta have faith that it's a purpose in life and it's a plan for a divine plan. Love. If nothing else, we gotta all love each other before we can do anything else. Education, we never stop learning. And unity, it's, it's, it's only one source. So uh, this next poem, you know, is inspired by the crest a little. So out the ashes like a phoenix I will rise. It's propaganda time to see through the lies. Fluoride in the water, deceit in the books. It's hard to distinguish the sheep from the wolf. They tried to lock us down and take away our freedom. Divided, we fall. Together, we can beat them. Peep the agenda. They try to separate. Black versus white. They really preach and hate. But we are all one. It's only one source. Your soul is waking up to the sound of my voice. Because it's all real, you can feel it inside. They told you you a man. That's where they lie. I can't believe how far I made it. I started with an ounce of weed, just me and Caleb. Graduated school despite my trials and tribulations. I had a nice watch and a drop top beam at graduation. I've been balling since I jumped off the porch, but I'm light in a dark world, a walking torch. I ain't playing sports, but I got Hall of Fame game, and I got some homies in the trenches. I can't mention their name. But the past is the past. It ain't worth harping on. I was chosen for this journey. I'm embarking on. From the stage to this mic I'm talking on, you would think this is water I'm walking on. <laughs> Thank you, verses and voices.
Listen, tell the people what's our motto. Live, laugh, learn, love. Live, what? Live, laugh, learn, love. 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 Like I said, you can do anything in the world. All you got to do is believe it, okay? Yeah. It's only one way to win. You gotta get comfortable with failure. Yeah, that's right. You gonna have to fail your way to success. You gonna fail so many times. The question is, can you keep going in spite of the failures? We gotta understand, it is through failures that we learn life's greatest lessons. Without failure, there's no growth. Fail your way to success. You only fail when you quit. When you quit. We never fail. trying to stop you all type of voices in your head telling you you're not good enough telling you you're gonna fail but you gotta keep going no matter what world don't stop turning we don't stop moving we don't stop growing we embrace each failure because we know we just growing it's about growth let's go let's change the way we look at failure let's all fail together then there's no judgment the more times you fail the bigger the pot at the end of the rainbow so guess what hk Oh yeah, I'ma fail my way right there. Let's go. You only fail when you quit. When you quit. We never fail because we don't quit. We don't quit. We don't quit. We never fail because we don't quit. You only fail when you quit. When you quit. We never fail because we don't quit. 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 We never fail because we don't quit. We don't quit. Like what is going through your mind? 
your mind right now? I mean, I feel great because, you know, just having the courage to step up and do something and to present something new to create these verses and voices and not know what it was going to be. But seeing how it all transpired, I'm super excited for the future and what it could be. I'm so excited for everybody that shared. And yeah, I'm just happy to be on this journey of living out loud and living life. And I invite you all to join us because listen, we all need support. This is a community and not only that of networking and people working together and helping each other. And uh, it's a lot of loneliness going on out there and we all need that support. So I say, listen, this is a great way to get together. It's entertaining, it's educational and everything. And listen, Verses of the Voice is just a new wave, baby. Let's go. Let's HK. go. It don't stop till the casket drops.